This question is going to blow your mind as it looks easy, but is surprisingly tricky. We have a triangle whose this side is of length 8 and this side is of length 12. Then this angle is x and this angle is equal to 2x. Using only this much information, you need to find out the area of this triangle. So, can you solve it? Okay, what can we think of as the first step? Area of a triangle is equal to half of its height times its base. This is the base of this triangle, and this is the height. But right now, we don't have the value of either of them. So, let us find them out. Let us label the height of this triangle as h. So, using Pythagoras' theorem on this right angle triangle, we get h square equals h square plus the length of this piece square. So, the length of this piece will be equal to square root of this will be 64 minus h square. Okay, but now what? Hey, we have not even used the information that this angle is 2x and this angle is x, right? Draw this line such that this angle is equal to 2x. So, here comes the first magic. Can you see something? This triangle is an isosceles triangle as both these angles are equal. Thus, if this side length is 8, then this length is also equal to 8. Now look at this right triangle. If this is 8 and this is h, then this will be square root of 8 square or 64 minus h square as well. Now here comes the second magic. Let us label this angle as y. Now since this is 2x and this is x, so using exterior angle theorem, we have x plus y equals this 2x or y equals x as well. And thus, this triangle is also an isosceles triangle, and thus this side length is also equal to 8. Wow, noise! This is our final trump card. Look at this right triangle. This base is equal to this plus 8. This is h, and this is 12. So using Pythagoras' theorem, we get 12 square equals this square plus h square. Let us expand this. This will be 144, and the square of this will be of the form a plus b whole square, which is a square plus b square plus 2ab. So it will be 8 square or 64 plus this square will be 64 minus h square plus 2 times 8 times square root of 64 minus h square. Then this will be h square. Both these h squares will be cancelled out, and we are left with 128 plus 16 times. This equals 144. Therefore, this will be 144 minus 128, or 16. Divide by 16 both sides to get the square root of 64 minus h square equals 1. Squaring both sides, we get 64 minus h square equals 1 square, or 1 and thus h square equals 63. So h equals square root of 63, which is also equal to 9 times 7, or h equals 3 root 7. Then using this expression, the base of this triangle, or this side length, will be equal to 1 plus. This will also be 1 plus. This will be 8, or the base will be equal to 10. So the area of this triangle will be equal to 10 times 3 root 7 over 2 or 15 root 7. And that's it. Don't forget to put the unit square. That was super exhausting, but a fun one, isn't it? If you enjoy my videos and want to support my channel, consider becoming a Patreon as it helps me create more awesome content for you. Link is in the description. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So, goo!